A study reveals that there is a risk of rapid contamination of water in the Kalani River. The study was conducted by the Auditor General's Department. Kalani River, the second longest river in Sri Lanka and the fourth largest water basin in Sri Lanka, provides drinking water to nearly 80% of the population in the western province. According to the National Audit Commission, over 10,500 factories have been identified to be located surrounding the Kalani River. Recent studies have revealed that these industries and domestic activities have increased the pollution rate of the Kalani River. Erosion of the riverbank due to unauthorized constructions, solid waste, sewage and wastewater being dumped into the river from hotels and unauthorized houses built along the riverbank have also been recognized as reasons for pollution. Industries have been the main cause of pollution. Two major export processing zones, Sitabaka and Biagama, are located in close proximity to the Kalani River. It was also revealed that the Environment Protection License of Sitabaka Export Processing Zone had not been renewed for eight years. The report also reveals that the capacity of the public waste water treatment plants of 37 industries in the region is low. Also, the microbial destroying machine at the wastewater treatment plant has malfunctioned. It was also revealed that there is no proper method to remove the effluent from the factories. It has also been revealed that the method of discharging wastewater from the operations of certain factories in the area do not meet the proper standards. Observations carried out at Biagam Export Processing Zone revealed that the number of coliforms in the water exceeded the prescribed capacity of 10,000 to 890,000. Coliform is a type of bacterium that lives in the dead and contaminated water of humans and other immobilized animals. The coliform level in the treated water pond in the region had also increased by 100,000. The amount of bacteria in the water samples taken from a number of Kalani sites, including the Kolonava Bridge, has drastically increased. The Kalani River extending from the Sitavaka Ferry to the Kolonava Bridge has been found to be unsuitable for drinking, bathing and recreation. With the increase in water pollution in the river, the cost of chemicals used in the Ambatale and Pattivila water treatment plants has increased. The expenditure has increased from 879 million rupees in 2015 to 929 million rupees in 2017. It was reported that the amount of chlorine used has increased by 74%. The report of the Auditor General's Department shows that the cost of producing clean water has increased in the last five years with the increased use of chemicals in both water treatment plants. According to the Auditor General's Department, the Central Environmental Authority, the Department of Irrigation, the local authorities, the Urban Development Authority and the Water Supply and Drainage Board should be actively involved in protecting the water of the river.